Hey guys, yeah, um, latest update in the news here today, um, yeah. So anyway, um, I think the latest news today is, well, Kimball's is actually opening up earlier this year than I thought. It was that March 26th? I thought it was April, um, April 2nd, but it's actually March 26th, which is pleasantly surprised. Um, I hopefully they'll have some exciting new flavors this year. And when they open up the grilled seafood shack, hopefully before it go down south, uh, maybe they'll have something new. Some new items in the menu. Um, and I believe they will open up the... They will be opening up the Outback uh, shack today. This is here in a way. But we're going to have a new seafood shack. We're not going to have the... Yeah, we're not going to have the... Um, the petting zoo, like near the uh, Kimball Farms um, barn, um, farm like the barn right now, the farmhouse where they get the ice cream because of you know, I don't I, I don't get the board of health. Okay, I've been there for I've been there for regulars for like eight years. I've never gotten sick, and so yeah. So anyway, um, Kimball's is opening to March 22nd, uh, March, excuse me, March 26th this year. Hopefully I don't have, what my stuff came off the head, but. And, um, hopefully that's that. Now, we're going to call, talk about, um, Animal Crossing. Nintendo. One island per console. I mean, I paid 60, we paid $60 for the game. Why do you have to be restricted to one island per console? I mean, you know, they should up the I mean, hopefully, hopefully people will talk about this because, you know, um, and, and you can't transfer your game saves from one console to another. But what point does it make here? I mean, these the, the Nintendo Switches, they do break. They fail. All right? This is why... You know, we have to have some something over here to transfer the files to a new Switch. I mean, um, if I want to upgrade the Switch, sorry, you have to kiss it goodbye. Uh, Nintendo. Really? I mean, um, at least let me download my cloud backup save. Uh, like, I'll hear a point over here. But Nintendo, really, seriously, all right? Um... You should be playing off place. The, the Nintendo Switch is a handheld unit, all right, Nintendo. Um, but that doesn't excuse for this to, to, to you know, restrict it to one island per console. I think about you know six islands or ten islands per console like this would be appropriate like that. But one island per console, really? Um, look, I bought the game. I mean, people should do whatever they want with their games, all right. And being by and then having strings attached to say, hey, you can't do this, you can't do that. Oh, excuse me, Nintendo, I bought the game, all right? Uh, doesn't matter if I pre-order it or whatever it is over here, but Nintendo, I bought the game, all right? Let me use it as I say, please. Um, and it doesn't matter if it's a CD or a digital, it doesn't matter if it's a physical or a digital download. Look, you, you still downloaded a piece of data, all right? I mean, you own that. Yeah, I own a copy on my Switch. Yeah, you don't own the copyrights to it. I mean, you can't make copies and distribute it um, to thousands of other peoples. But, you know, you own the copy. You should do whatever you want with it over here. Mod it or personal modifications to it or, like, you know, like this. But, you know, and also, hence of microtransactions. I hope it's not the case. Yes, DLC, purchasing DLC additional content, like for in-game purchases, of course I'll accept that. Of course I'll accept the, the DLCs. But microtransactions to progress your characters, I mean, for whatever it is, sorry. This is, that's not, that's not cool. Um, so, well, hopefully Nintendo won't, Nintendo start, won't start putting microtransactions in loot boxes onto uh, the games because I mean it's a Nintendo it's like oh, this is Nintendo are they starting to become less in touch let out of touch with us much like EA and Bethesda 
and Activision? I hope it's not the case, Nintendo. Because this is, because look, the Nintendo Switch is a handheld device. And uh, but still you should be able to have more than one island on the console. Um this is why, you know, I know gamers are more expensive to make, but so are, you know what? The, I the idea is to, you know, you have a lot more companies, and if they screw up like that, and come as, as customers become ticked off, yeah, you're going to lose the money. It's going to backfire really bad. It's going to backfire really hardly here. And nickel and diming is not the way to make up the cost, all right? Drop the price to forty dollars. It only costs one expense to produce to uh, to produce the game, and then you can make it up by selling lots of copies. All right. Um, so, if you drop the price to forty dollars, a lot more people will buy the game. Then you will recoup more of the cost. I mean, this is how things work, and it's okay for me. It's practically okay. I mean, look. Additional content is okay. What about if you open up the third parties to produce additional content, uh, like open up tools for third parties to do additional content and tax and produce their piece of the pies, and you can gain more of their stuff and like that and this. I'm sorry, Nintendo, but I mean microtransactions just. I I mean it's unacceptable. Um, so, yeah. Animal Crossing, um, and people were, f and people were furious about, you know, I want to back up the saves. I want to do that. There is a reason for this. Nintendo Switches, they fail. You know, the first iteration of the Nintendo Switches, I think they're still going on today, is that they're cracking in the back. And, uh, they're seeing cracks in the back of the Switch. I mean... This is why, you know, we back up certain... This is why it's a necessity to transfer your save... To make the saves files transfer of them. Back up the saves and, a, like, you know, personal backups of game saves. Um, I mean, it's just a no-brainer, all right? Really. So, um, this is me, JD out. Um, Gimbal Farms is opening April 26th, the ice cream only. Uh, only here. Uh, maybe it'll be warm enough uh, at that point where they can open up the grill shack like that here. And yeah, the dog days of winter are here. Although it doesn't feel like winter yet. <laughs> but it's still, it's officially the dog days of winter. Good thing that January is over. I uh, hate that month. <laughs>